So is today the day that Purple will finally join the colony? Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. i been sitting here waiting to find out. We've got some plants that are dying up. Oh, recruit failed. Plants are dying out in the in the uh, greenhouses in the corners where the lights don't meet. Otherwise, um, overnight, these guys popped in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm thinking about getting nine hunters out there. These guys are leaving right now. Hmm, oh, their buffalo just left. Yeah, nine hunters out there. And everyone can bring back their own. Miss P brought back her kill, but it, you know, she, we're just hauling in the max. <laughs> we got them all now? I think we do. Good. Get that finally done. Grandma's bringing hers in. Sea Stars is out here somewhere. All right. Right there. You've got yours. Okay. <clears throat> so... Let this thing run. What's going on here? I've got a whole bunch of them coming in to get meals. Otherwise, let's go backwards. Kaya wanted to get a revolver on her. These two were hauling. David is working on doors and coolers in here. We're mostly done. This is almost ready to move into. At least the kitchen storage or meal storage, refrigerator, freezer, and animal carcasses. That's the ultimate plan. We've got a door to go here. Needing granite blocks. Eric, are you on that one? You are hauling to a table. Which table? 75 to wooden table. 2 by 4 So you're working on this one. Let's get you instead to work on this one while we're off doing the hunt. David, you are working on auto door. What was the next auto door? One of these two. Okay, so right click. That's by Eric. This one's by Eric. So I guess you're not working on auto door. Which auto door are you working on? Let's, you're going for the blocks. But after that, I don't know. Anyway, so working backwards over here. Alicia is digging at. She's wiping out this area here. That's right. So I can finish building the walls in the area. Um, Eric and David, we've seen. Miss P hauling that in. Michael is grabbing a meal cooking a simple meal so you have you're ready to go okay is anybody, everybody else ready to go uh kathra was the last one that i queued up to go grab a meal so she is just getting there okay so sangria you are ready to go klaus is grabbing his meal shantigo um equipping a revolver so you're on your way up to get armed okay um rabbit Meal, right there, eating it. Handy, eating it. Tomislav, already, and you're making kibble. All right, then. Let's let Klaus get finished. And cue them all. Come on, eat quicker. Rabbit's getting away. All right, I can't wait for you. So, well, okay, I've got to in order to let you finish, though. But Tomislav, let's get you out over here. Let's haul eight or nine hunters up in this area right here. Draft and go here. Handy, you are power conduit. You come on over here. Rabbit, your sewing area over here. Shantigo, equip and revolver when you're done with that. I'll have to come back to you. Klaus, you're eating when you're done with that. So Sangria, you're ready. Kathra, you're ready. Natalia is going to be going to bed soon. Cutting blocks. Michael, you are cooking a simple meal. Let's draft you and get you out here. Um, who else? Miss P is going to bed soon. Alicia, digging at granite. You could join in on this one. Draft and come on up here. <clears throat> Eric and David are melee. Grandma is going to bed soon and really needs a meal. Really needs a meal. But she's just about back with her scyther. So she'll be jumping on, on a meal here real soon. Sea stars, same thing. Going to bed soon. Akaya, you've got a weapon and you want to get a chance to use it. So draft and take you up here. So I think that just left Shantigo and Klaus. Let's track these guys. Shantigo has got to get his weapon. So Klaus is still munching on that meal. Nom, 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 nom. He's just sitting back and enjoying it. I wonder if his eat speed is slow for some reason. That seemed like it took a long time. Draft you and come on up into here. So a matter of now of Shantigo picking up his weapon, then I'll bring him into it as well. Right there. Um, actually, Klaus, you're supposed to get an assault rifle. 
Klaus, you still got your sniper. All right, so Klaus, you are to equip this one and then head over here. And Shantigo, you're ready to go, so you head over here. All right. Now, these guys, when they go nuts and come after us, they're going to come at us at a 3.6, which is about the speed of our pig legs. So, kind of even, but we're going to have to really be careful about that. Don't want another you know, deer incident. <laughs> no more thump thump. Not on not on uh, muffaloes. Anyway, here's the first big crowd moving in. Let's move this group in first to right about... Hmm, there isn't a good place we're not shooting through trees that we can still get away from. Let's go to here for now. Rabbit and Michael, you guys can join somewhere in there. And Klaus is following up the rear. Okay, with that, you guys so far hit. Hmm. Wish there was a way to single one out. Try for there. Okay. Dead. Good. And I can go ahead and unforbid these because as fast as we take these out, most of the people who would be doing the butchering are are here. So, how many did we get, by the way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we can all haul something in, including that turkey leftover from uh, Eric's uh, thump thump the other day. So, all right, we'll go with this group. No, boom. Now that was whom? Michael has no weapon. What did I miss here? <laughs> um. Okay, why don't you just, like, hang for a moment, and Bambino's got poisoning, take him down, okay, um, hmm, if I had Michael Butcher, would he grab that one, or would he go all the way back down there, somehow, somebody dropped off a, Michael, that was Michael's assault rifle, he was injured last time, oh, that's right, he took the brunt of the, uh, the deer attack. He's probably up here with really bad memories. <laughs> a little bit of, of uh, a little bit of concern there. Um, let's have you. I can't right click on that because you're drafted. Okay, let's have you butcher. And what does that mean now, Michael? You are going to go do one of them down there. So I can't get you to haul it in because you won't haul. All right. Well, everybody else, right there. Let's. Head this way and go after this one, which has separated from the rest of the pack. Which is a good thing, right there. Take him out. Okay. And, well, I'll tell you what. Let's get another round into him. Still not enough. Come on, guys. There we go. All right. Let's, now we're down to one, two, three, four, five, six. So six charge at us at once. Well, it's better than nine, but it's still going to be rough. You're off to one side. Let's try you. Take him down quick. Give me some headshots. Almost. We'll leave you for now. And you guys are scattering and running, and it's raining. Hmm. Foggy rain. Any boomalopes out here that make lots and lots of meat? Anything just hit... The map. Nope. Okay, we'll continue. And turtle went down. And you're not moving. Well, we'll go after you next. Muffalo Revenge. What have we got? Muffalo is attacking after being harmed. Other Muffaloes have also become enraged. Alright, so it's these three. It's these three, and they're on autopilot right now because they're all being attacked. Let's concentrate fire on this one. Okay, on this one. All right, we got to do it. Oops, just do that. In fact, I shouldn't have done that. It restarted them all, but it worked anyway. 
Okay. Woo. So we're up here. We got nine of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess we'll call that done. Though it would be nice to take out that turtle that we injured. But who knows how long that's going to take to do. Let's let's try. Let's just take him down. Everybody, all the other animals made it out of here just fine. Right there. You're going to hit a pig, aren't you? Right there. And still going to hit that pig. Okay. Take out the turtle. Good shot. All right. Break. Handy. Hunt. Rescue. Right there. There we go. Handy. Hunt that one. Uh, Kathra. Hunt that one. Who's that? Alicia, you need your... Uh, uh, right there. You need your revolver skills up a little bit. Same with Kaya. And... Sangria. You can go after the last one. Otherwise, Rabbit. Hall. Tomislav. Hall. And I want to say there's a Klaus in there that I missed. Hall. Does that look like everyone's got a job? Looks like it. Alright. Meat's back on the table. Here we go. Alright. So, who's that? Shantigo. M managed to miss out on something. Let's have you haul that one. There we go. Now everybody's got a job. Right? Who's, who's after that one? Sangria. Milking. No, 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 no. What? No empty space in storage. Okay. Then we just opened up this void to animals. Uh, storage. You are now going to be corpses, animal corpses. Alright, back to Sangria. Try that again. This one? Hall. Handy. Hall. Shantigo. Hall. Alicia. Hall. Now we got this taken care of. Everybody's bringing something back. Okay, that's what it should look like. Alright, so with that, what is the next challenge? How are we over here? Doors are all in. Need power over here. So what does that mean? Power, conduit. It means probably a path like that is what that means. Okay, I need an Eric or a David. David is night shift. He's asleep. Eric. You are building a granite auto door. Where? Well, on the kitchen itself, okay? And all the parts are there. After that, you're going to... Actually, I ran the power up this. Why did I... Why did I mark that for demolition? I have no idea. Huh. I really don't know. So, we're going to cancel all that, whatever... That little brain fart was. And whatever that was. Okay, so back to new conduit. Yeah, so you're going to fire up into here. Oh, is that what happened? Did I grab deconstruct instead of power conduit? Maybe that's what it was. It'll make sense when I go back to edit it. But I really thought I clicked on power conduit there. Okay, well, yeah. Now we're, now we're back to normal. How the batteries do? 48, 49. We're charging even though we're using it. We're ahead of the curve. Oh, good. Then let's charge one bank at a time so we don't get a, uh, a blowout at some point. Eric, you are now hauling wood to dining chair. No, let's get you to do that one and do all the rest of it. With that, we'll have power at all the doors. We'll have power at all of the coolers, and the coolers are already running in some of these. So let's get this door unforbidden and opened. And let's get this one closed, and this one closed. And we'll start the process of, of filling this place up, as well as sending the heat into the base. And hopefully it can, enough of it can get through that door. The doors do seem to be kind of a restriction. And enough can get through this vent to benefit the base at all. I have a feeling we're only going to benefit this hall. So I was wanting to leave this thing wide open. But wide open, I don't think it's going to count it as a dining room. 
So we'll have to let this thing build out and see what's there. We may just sacrifice the, the really nice dining room status in exchange for being able to heat more of the base, but we'll see. Or I could try to route this somewhere else. Don't know how, but out and down and I don't know. I have to think about that. But I know what the plan was. I just don't know if the plan's going to work. Okay, so you're down there. We're getting lots of... Oh, here they come. The Muffalo Parade. <laughs> That's a good thing. Ooh, inspiration. Go Frenzy. Let it be a butcherer. Sangria. No, but you can sure train wild boars right now. And wild boars have come up in the comments... Let me take a look at this while we're not doing anything too crazy here. Right there, Sangria bonded with Mohawk. Otherwise, need to catch a few more of these while we can. Um, wild boars, <clears throat> we got rid of a few. So we only have one, four, one, two, three, four, and then we jump all the way up to 21. So there's a big chunk of them not there. So we don't really have 50 wild boars, but we do have quite a few. And we're having a little trouble feeding them. So, as a result, we could butcher them and eat them. There is that. And what I'm thinking of is kind of equating them to our trees right here. I'm not cutting these trees on purpose. I've got them as emergency wood. Should something happen, we're, you know, it's just not easy to get out. Whether that be, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, toxic fallout or something. We can go through and kind of roof this area real quick and... You know, they'll, they'll all die eventually, but we can get out here and chop these down and bring in some wood easier than we can, say, over here, when time is, is of an essence, when travel time is of an essence. So I'm saving some nearby just for that purpose. And the pigs are kind of emergency food in that same sense. If we can convert them to silver, get just the right uh, um, person in here to, or a, a caravan in here to sell them, that'd be great. But if we can't, then the ability to, you know, middle of winter, there are no animals left on the map, nothing to do for food. Sangri has named Buffalo Calf Emily after being nuzzled. We have an Emily. Um, then we've got, we've got uh, baby back ribs here to, <laughs> to munch on. So I'm going to hang on to them as long as I can is what I'm getting to. You know, right now we've got plenty of butchering, plenty of meat coming in. We're going to have plenty of kibble. We're going to get back to fine meals. And what should be happening next? Next time we cook. Where is Shantigo right now? Shantigo is cooking a simple meal out over here. Okay, then after that, let's see here. What's stored up? That's the last of the food you've got here. So drop that. This we're going to shut down again. Well, I guess when we hit simple meals. Ah, so there's something that would help out. Let's grab... Oh, let's see here. Well, first of all, grab a stock or a stockpile. Drop it there, there, and there. That will help the count. He could keep making simple meals until he's got a stack of... Well, I guess it would only be a stack of ten, but another stack of ten, another stack of ten, and just keep stacking up until it's actually hauled to, you know, this stockpile to register up here. It's not going to show that we have them. we got seven over there. We've got... 16, 17, 18, 19 in the stockpile. That's what that shows. So we actually have 26. We've got our limits set for 20. But if we were to copy that and paste that here. There we go. Paste. And same thing there and there. Then it should reflect that we've got 26 meals now. And what are you doing now? Cooking a simple meal. It still hasn't reflected it yet. Let's just do this for a while. Let's give it five or six seconds. Now do it. And you're still cooking a simple meal. We have 27. Oh, I, I set the count for 30, didn't I? I did. Okay. Well, now that we've got meat, let's alter that. 30. I did go for 30. Okay, so take you back to 20. That way you match the other side. So, Shantigo, let's hopefully drop it on the same stack. Okay. And you are back to making fine meals over here, where we've got everything stored, for now. Because it's time to start moving everything over. So let's get these guys turned on and see just what our load is going to be for power. That's the scary part. There's... Actually, you know what? Leave you off. Leave... You off. 
we'll just turn on one in each room for now. And maybe even one for this entire space for winter time. That's quite possible. Let's wait on this one. Oops. Right there. There. Okay. You reset to... Okay, what just happened there? Power off. And... That's what I wanted to see. So, this one's real. Sangria's going after that, but let's just let... Uh, um, rabbit do that. I'm just wondering if I got everything else right. Green, red, green, uh, red. You guys are on. Okay, so with that, let's set let's set the refrigerator to. Oh, well, normally your refrigeration is 40 degrees. We'll set it down to 34. So I think that's probably close to what a, a restaurant refrigerator would be set at. So 70. There's 34. Freezer, we're going to take down to 20. So, three clicks is 16. Okay, that works. So, you two. I do it like that. Three clicks down. That gave me 16. So, that's all freezer. This is refrigerator, 34. The question is, do we freeze the meals or do we refrigerate them? Normally, you would refrigerate them, role play wise. But it would be nice for these meals to last more than just three or four days in the refrigerator. So, or whatever it, it turns out. What does it turn out to be in here? You get, well, this is frozen, so I've never really been able to test that. Let's go with refrigerator for now and see what that actually turns into. So two clicks down takes me to 34. Okay, so everything, well, the ones we've turned on are now running full bore. 82. 382 is holding, like we just hit a balance. Is that gonna go up a tick or down a tick? Whatever it is, we're really close to that balance line with the refrigerators going. Okay. Well, that little boost helped. Though it's actually not contributing right now. We have almost no wind and we've got solar going down. It's still holding 82. We're on, right? Nope, I picked the bank that wasn't on. Of course. <laughs> 37. This is the real one. 36. So we're starting to lose now that we've lost all of our power source. Okay. But with that... I would think, do we shift over the night crew? I guess first thing tomorrow morning, we'll start shifting over all the food. That way the pigs and the dogs can do it. So let's look at pigs and dogs. I don't want pigs and dogs available to get in here on a, a long-term basis, at least not the pigs. The dogs, yes. So let's think about, let's give them all access right now and then take the pig access back out except for wild animals, and the freezer for just just parts of it but not the refrigerator the dogs can come in and, and transfer from here to here and from here to here and the meals to there yeah in fact i want these probably set for um take to best stockpile details not going to be dropped on the floor over here we're so close i think we'll go ahead and and get rid of the spoilage that's happening when they're just sitting on the floor. But what is the temperature inside? Yeah, it's 66. It's quite quite warm. We're going to grab hallway temperature. Okay, what's happening in here now? In here, we're at 111 degrees. In here, we're at 71. Handy is building steel improvised turret. Oh, we're finally getting back to some other jobs over here. Ooh. Well, we're at 20 hundred hours. Hmm. I mean, we could... Are you on? You're on. Okay, so I need switches off. Let's... Wrong one. Stop that. There. And right click. Okay. So that switch off... I see the switches have not all been built. That's why I haven't been able to make sure they were turned off. So that's the first switch. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to have to monitor that. Heaters... Temperature, 65. Bedroom, 64. Bedroom, 64. Hallway, 65. So these are all decent numbers. 64 in the hospital, 63, 64, 64. So in here, we actually don't have a vent in here. I never got that built. Got it built there. We had a bug attack in here. No, that was after it was built, though. That's just something I've forgotten. Okay, so 62 in there, but that's going away anyway. So down in Natalia's room. 
64. Back over here, 63. We're holding pretty well on temperature down here. 64 all the way down here. Okay. Put 111 in this point. Now, this side of the of the airlock, we're 64. 111, 64. So the temperature is doing well at not transferring through the doorway. In here, we're at 48 and dropping. 44, 36, and 35. But these have been on for a while, so they were already down to... Well, they were up to 70, because these should have been cooler. Hmm. Anyway, let's let this run and think about things. So... Right here, expand allowed area pigs. They're, they're allowed in there, and they're going to be allowed in here for now. Like so. And expand. Actually, expand for dogs. And we're already complete access in here. Okay. Alright, so we'll, I'll tweak those after this gets done. But I think it's time to go ahead and set up some stockpiles and we could start moving it now if I leave it on pause get a couple hours of the animals doing things um, stockpile so we've got this one in here like so got a separate one in here trying to keep it out of the airlocks have another one in here then probably just like that we'll leave the pathway clear so and I could even take some pathway out like from here to here or something but for now this one hmm I don't have one set up just for that so let's grab this one and copy so that one is going to be paste but we're going to get rid of all the raw foods um, there so that one is just animal corpses but it's also so let's pop out of all of this give me is that highlighted still I don't think it is delete that and let's put in another one there and you are going to be the same as this one so copy you and we're going to get hay grass in here that way when they're making kibble and kibble's only going to be made here now they'll be able to pop in and get the hay grass and the meat. Well, meat's going to be actually here. Okay, so that is what the rest of this is. So we'll get, I'll have to fine tune these later, but copy you essentially and put you into here, uh, there and, and paste. And then essentially this is going to be a higher priority of this one. So when this one is full, this one starts to fill up. And let the dogs you know, fill up this one. This will be frozen for long term. This will be short term, unfrozen for cooking. That's my plan. Meals, right there. Copy you, paste you. And I really want Handy working on these. Let's get Handy to finish this. Eric and David have been jumping in and getting it done. But, well, we do have one excellent chair in there with art on it. By Eric. Whoa. Okay. Eric is getting better at his trade. Eric made an art. <laughs> David's black. This furniture bears a depiction of David practicing construction with an exuberant shout. Ha <laughs> ha! The scene is surrounded by a group of failed experiments. <laughs> All the chairs that didn't make it. The scene takes place in the middle of a small town, and the work has a blocky feeling and a square structure. The image tells the story of David becoming a master at construction on the 12th of Jugast. Really? What is master? Is that like level 10? Hmm. Otherwise, we have a superior. We've got a superior. We've got a normal. A good. A superior. A good. And a good. All right. Normal goes away uninstall and in fact let's get somebody to do that real quick so I can set another one in its place who is in the area besides beer Eric what you doing you're resting really yeah you're kind of there but I want you to do something else I want you to I'll do a couple of things I want you to uninstall this then I want you to haul these meals 
There's no hall. Because I didn't change the priority on this one. That needs to be the lowest priority. Same with this one. So copy, paste, paste. Now I can do that, though I may have to wait a little bit. Eric, right there. So when you're done, I want you to haul that. And then, hmm, now you're still living over here. So you can go over here and grab this simple meal when you're done and eat it. I can't have you eat the one that's over here because it's not there yet to click on it. Okay, so that is going to get those moved. And is that getting uninstalled? It did. So let's make a copy of that. Okay. Otherwise, look at that. Dogs are starting to bring stuff over. Dropped off meals in there. Eric is now going to eat a meal, then go to bed. Okay. Andy, you hauling to power switch. You're into this area now. And you guys have got all these turned on. I mean, built. Great. The steel is going to be going away really fast now. Where's steel? Right in there? Still 2,000 available to us. Okay, good. Then it's it's time to get our bug defenses up. Okay, well, then I'll just let these things be hauled as they be hauled. Um, Tomislav, you are butchering. Good job. Go Frenzy is still Sangria, who is off to bed. So how did their new bedroom progress? Are we kind of... We're kind of there. Hmm... Okay, well then, through the night, although we can get lights in right now. Um, where's the light? Right there. Copy, and build, and build. And Klaus, why don't you do this before you go to bed? And you're off to get steel. There's some right there. How much? 59. Oh, there's enough. Okay. I don't know why they got dumped there. That's odd. If you're going to do that, you're going to grab enough for, hopefully conduit in the area as well. And hopefully not just the conduit and not have enough to do... Oh, you got to do this as well, too, the vent. So, 30 and 30, you need 60 and you had 50-something. So, something here is not going to get built. We'll see which one it is. But once power gets into this area, all these auto doors start working. That'll be nice. Alright, that one got done. That one and that one and good. So, still waiting for conduit to get into the area. You're resting now. Okay. So... Everything but the bedroom, I guess. Do we rebuild? Do we put in new? What's over here? You are good, and you are normal. Okay, we build new. So let's lay out a new bedroom over here. Right there, we've got build copy, and the bed goes where? I think the bed's on this wall. So let's do that. And how wide is a double bed? Three blocks? Three spaces or two? One, two. Okay. Right in there. One, two, and that one. Double bed goes there. Let's go for furniture, dresser. Along this wall. No, at the head of the bed. Right there would be fine. And then we've got nightstands. We've got... Um, let's do a couple of chairs. And let's see if I can shrink. Oh, I hate the way it pushes me off to the side. when I If I hold it and do it, Oh, it's fighting me. There. What was that? We've got... Klaus has been inspired. He will get a significant trade price bonus for his next trade. Eight days away. Okay. So we are the 8th to 9th of December. So winter has begun. It has. Let's get rid of both of those. And I wanted to see... I'm fighting it there. Er, er. <sighs> what do we have? In stuff. We got pig skin. We've got turkey. Pig skin, turkey. Link skin. We need a link skin chair. Um, right there. Give me links. So, link skin chair is going to go there. And give me another something interesting. That's deer. There's lots of deer. Goat and caribou. Yeah, let's do a caribou. So, I want back to furniture. You in caribou. There you are. You're going to go there. And can I get another lamp in there? I think I can. Let's do that. Um, right there. Copy. I'm going to pop you into that space. 
and eventually you'll tap into the prison power. Who is this? Michael is butchering until he drops. Let's just drop you there. Uh, consume a simple meal. I can't have you haul it in. We didn't get any. We do have. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just have you come down and grab a fine meal and boost up your, your bonus a little bit there. And then have somebody else haul these in. In fact, i got to do that now. It's raining. Tomislav, where are you? You are you just about made it to bed. You almost got there. <laughs> uh, Grandma's room. Looking for anything to clean on your way. Just there where you're going to disturb Cathra. And nothing in, the, nothing in the hallway. Okay, you go on and go to bed. Who else is up? Natalia doesn't haul. Michael, Miss P does, and she's kind of in this area anyway. Okay, you want a butcher too. Why don't you do me a favor and haul that in, and then come back and haul this one, and then you can butcher it. Okay, with that, what have we got? Sea Stars, Grandma is there. David's up. Sea Stars, what are you doing? You are digging at granite. You're right here in front of me. There we go. You're clearing this area out. Okay. Any problems in here? Let's lay this out real quick while I'm here. You're going there. You're going there. I don't remember. Two spaces and a door. One, two. Okay. That goes there. And then that one. And then you are there and there. Okay. That's that room. That is an auto door. Vent. Auto door. I want a regular door. We have one? We do in the gauntlet. Right there. Copy. You go there. And that's that room laid out. Okay. Um, I feel like I was in the middle of a couple things and I have forgotten one. What was it? So, got the two chairs done. I'm going to bring the bed over tomorrow, get all this built. And what else? Go A shelf. Let's get a shelf or two in here. So, easier to just grab you. Copy and you can go there and you can go there okay and i'm tempted to put a, a little table on a couple of chairs but everybody else will will use it it's if it's in the area it won't uh, restrict it to just them too bad you can't set the doors to who you want to allow in and david you're doing what oh standing lamp okay there you go and you're doing what over here what was that? Oh, power switch. Okay. Power switch. That's right. Andy built that one. So... Did not build it. Where was she? There. There. She was at the... I thought she was at the bottom of this one. Maybe I distracted her. These can go away. Yeah. Double click and send you guys away. That's... That's finished now. Um, so these guys are not powered up. That's what I wanted to verify. No power's going on over here yet. So there's no standing turrets that are up and, and absorbing power right now. Speaking of absorbing power, how are we doing? 497, 496. We are losing power. We did gain quite a bit. That was a lot fuller than it was before, so the seven daytime power sources did a good job. So hopefully, gradually, we're going to get ahead of this. Who is the hunter? That is Michael. He needs his assault rifle back. We've got to track that down. Anyway, I do feel like I missed something that I was talking about. Where are we? About 40 or so minutes into this. Um, maybe I'll run through here and remind me. Because when I got the sea stars that I got distracted. Grandma, you're cooking and just dropping meals and cooking like crazy. I'm thinking about getting you over here, but let's get a day's worth of moving stuff in over here. And I just noticed the pig sleeping in there. When we move Sangria out, I'm going to convert this entire thing to a barn. So I was going to give all of them a chance to find a place to sleep. So many of them that are over here won't need to be over here, which will give these guys room to sleep inside too. That's the thought there. In fact, I might even restrict them to not using, say, this one or that outer wall. So we definitely have ones just for the grazers out here. Um, David, recruiting purple. And when you're done... Let's clean this room up. It's getting pretty rough, and that might have an effect on our ability to recruit. And then, back to... Nope, that's enough. We'll let someone else do the cleaning. 
fact, Alicia, you are consuming a fine meal. You'll be in this area anyway. Why don't you clean up some of these after you eat? And... Alright. Your room's fine. I guess do that last. And that will clean up this area. We're about to start deconstructing all this. We're getting close. Um, actually, in order to get this to happen, I've got to turn these off. These are now no more. Yep. Now everything's going to start getting hauled that way. And for that matter, low food. <laughs> oh no, there's no food! Um, I think it's time to tear all this stuff down. So, that one, uninstall. Yeah, no, I want the that right there. Turn you off. And where are you? Right there. Turn you off. Okay, so that shuts down food in this area. Um, David, you're cue to clean dirt, and then you're going to come over here and deconstruct this. And with all the animals up, I would imagine this is going to be their main priority today, just moving everything over. So meal um, creation is going to be stymied a bit over here while the food is not truly in the area yet. Um, let's work on priorities here. So this is the higher priority. Storage, you will be important, whereas you are preferred. That's the right order? Yeah. We're going to fill this first, and then we're going to dump into here last, and it gets frozen and takes the place of what's coming out of here. All right, you are important, yes. And all of these are now going to be um, important. I guess I didn't set that for low. Okay, so you are now important. You're actually critical? Well, it needs to be over and above what all the freezers and refrigerators are. So I guess you're going to be critical. Okay, then you will be storage and critical as well and then copy paste and not paste we're not going to use this stove if we don't have to so you are actually on low and you need to stay that way okay you're a copy and you are paste all right we're going to fill these or we're going to fill those and we're going to fill this one first this one second and this one needs to be reset storage to be i did already only animals. You are going to be all foods, no meals, so all raw stuff, animal products that are not fertilized eggs. Hmm, didn't I just copy that over? So I wonder if any fertilized eggs had ever landed in there. Hmm, um, otherwise unfertilized go in here, insect jelly, as a backup, preferred, I've got it over here, and we've eaten it all. Insect jelly, important, and now that it's, we, we spent almost the whole series not eating any insect jelly. Once I set it over here where it's available to them, instead of just in the middle of the freezer, then they, uh, they start eating it. Okay, the hauling has begun. What are you doing with that bedroll? Did I, um, um, no, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> we need to change something here, obviously. Copy and you are a paste. I guess I never did paste that in. Ah, I never did. Okay, so Pig, you can just turn around and take that back. You are now a preferred, and you're preferred. You're important. Okay, same thing as there. So chocolate, uh, no hay. Mm, no kibble. You could, though, Sienna's pregnant. You then, though, could be kibble. If we make, we can store here or we can store out there with the animals. That should be fine, I think. Um, yeah, so you can see there's a lot of just thinking about things and fine tuning. There's no point of hay being in there, and there's no point in kibble being in there. Um, corpses. No corpses in there. And no corpses in there. Okay. 
So lots of things like that to work out. Don't need any insect jelly in that one. This one could be back up if we ever run across so much that we, we get overwhelmed here. Um, you are definitely meals and nothing but meals. Yes. And you're all meals. Okay. And you're important. So they're starting to get dropped off over here. Um, Handy, what are you doing at the moment? Hauling marble blocks to marble tiles. Which ones? Over here, getting the jail going. Okay. When you're done with that, just haul them. And then come over here and let's get all of the chairs built. Okay. There's that. And I'd like to get this room sealed off too. Um, Eric, hauling steel to improvise turret. After that, why don't you work on bringing the, all the marble to these walls. And need a light in here, David. Steel to conduit somewhere. When you're done with that, bring steel to this one. And someone needs to get that door going. So little by little, I see we need a lot of cleaning going on in here. In fact, there was that. This is the sterile tiles here. So we'll see if that helps. Got sterile tiles around this as well, thank goodness. But it all needs to be cleaned. Um, so that's being hauled into there. How much? We have 7,000 of the hay grass left. How quickly are we going to go through that? Hmm. So looking to see if any of the dogs or anything besides the grazing animals are in here eating it. Don't see any little yellow bars moving around. Kibble is out there. And haven't got messages for starving animals in a long time. He's chick number one. You're still chick number one. And what is Sangria been up to? So, right there. You two off and none. And chicks. Just one chick so far. Okay. And we have two more over here. Nuns. Nuns. And we're good there. Seem to be good here. Right, I think all those numbers are right. So, little by little, working our way through. I'll keep uh, working at this, see if I can get it filled up. Hopefully we'll get no events dropping in. Who is the hunter? How do we get that figured out? Who does not need... I think Sangria has got a assault rifle that Michael could use and get Sangria back into a pistol again. So, first of all, where is Sangria? Right there. Where is Michael? Right there. Relaxing socially. Okay, and you need it? You really need it. So I will deal with that some other time. I'm not going to disturb him by having to go pick up a rifle that she dropped in the rain. So we got to, got to coordinate that just right. But things else for me to do that I can be doing afterward is getting the, all the different uh, meal uh, bills set up for, for these two. I guess this one as well, but it'll be set to a much lower priority. Um, otherwise, yeah, just little by little, moving everything over. So I'll play with that in between episodes. Then if anything exciting happens, I'll pause it and hit record. So it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.